Okay, so uh, the fourth thing here that uh, I want to show you how to draw uh, is the um, the nose, right? Uh, and it's probably uh, <clears throat> the nose is probably one of the easiest things to draw, uh, but uh, some still some important things that you need to know. And it's basically constructed out of four lines, uh, the bridge of the nose, uh, and then here the uh, base, and then the nostrils of the nose, right? So it's one, <coughs> two, three. Um, things to um, remember here is that um, as, as you look at the, and, and here's one of the areas that the students uh, always, uh, I think, um, uh, make an error, is is this connection right there. Um, the um, You've got the, the nostril right uh, here, uh, and that flare here, it goes under. It's over and under, right? And then if we look at the uh, uh, the nose, right, if we look at the, uh, the the structure of the nose, again, the bridge of the nose is going to uh, just kind of depend on the the character that uh, that uh, you, you're you drawing. Uh, it can vary quite a bit. Um, again here, as I'm drawing this, I'm drawing it in gesture lines. Um, why gesture lines? Uh, again, give me some flexibility that I can um, look at. That's my highlight there. Alright, so now um, as I come in here, uh, darkest area there, right? A little bit softer there. Darker area, softer area here. Then uh, the areas, if we're looking at, at uh, again, is at light. Light being uh, an important thing, I guess. If you, you're starting to get understanding that light is very important, right? In, in sculpting, uh, modeling, um, any object. So here, um, this, if we look at the, uh, the, the head, uh, and we're looking at um, a profile of the head, right? The profile of the head. And we're looking at um, the, that brow, and we're looking at um, the, uh, the nose, uh, and we're looking at the lips, uh, and then we draw a vertical line. Uh, that nose is the thing that uh, sticks out. Normally, uh, it sticks out the furthest from um, the uh, the head, right? So that means that it's going to receive more light again, right? Um, that nose is going to be um, the lightest part on the, uh, the one of the lightest parts on the face, right? So that's something to remember. That's why I was kind of making this little round uh, indication there for where the light is, uh, is at, the, hi the highlight is. And then uh, I look at um, uh, the rest of the nose is really pretty much built with just values. Um, the bottom here, right? Uh, nostril, uh, again, highlight, highlight, highlight on the nostril. Uh, some uh, gradation here. And if we're looking at, again at um, the uh, uh, this line here, uh, shouldn't be hard. Um, so again, soft edge line here. Depending on your reference again, right? But uh, normally these uh, this has a lot of planar um, uh, parts to it. Uh, that's really the the emphasis behind drawing the nose is uh, looking at uh, where your all of your planeers are at, um, and then of course the uh, the edge. All right. So here, this areas are going to be the, the the darkest. Then you can have a little bit of a gradation where it rises, right? Uh, where it rises. Value here uh, on the back side. Value here. Right. 
So again here, um, what we were talking about earlier is the um, uh, the the softness, right? Softness. So here we went to. Um, Shadow areas normally don't be in here. Say the light is, is coming from over here. So then, you know, you, you're going to have a little bit more of a shadow area here, kind of doing this type of thing here. It's a real sharp edge here. But you still have a little bit of a shadow there. And then as the, as the light um, uh, would hit here, normally this would be in shadow here, right? And then this would be in shadow over here. This being the the lips, right? <clears throat> so uh, this is a good place to practice your uh, gradations. A little bit of gradation here happening here. soft edge again here depending on your on your reference depending on your reference how that nostril is built all going to be specific to your portrait reference get a little bit darker in here I'm not going to do a lot of blending. Mine, my, mine's going to have a little bit more uh, hatching. A little bit of blending, but not much. Reflective light, a little bit of reflective light there. Again, using, uh, not forgetting to use our artistic license, right? Because the reference is, is just that. It's just a reference. It's not meant for you to worry so much about trying to duplicate it exactly when it comes to modeling and, and building the values. You want to uh, make all those values much more interesting. Uh, definitely do want to maintain the likeness on it and that we'll talk uh, more about that as we uh, learn to actually block the, uh, the facial features. And that's in a future video here. but. And again here, let me turn this a little bit so I can get a little bit of gradation built here. A little bit harder edge line here maybe. Really pushing that back. What did you see? That, that was nice seeing that happening there. And then I've got uh, my reflective light. Soften this edge up a little bit here. Then uh, a little bit of a shadow still on this. All of this back in the shadow. I mean, I put in my planeers there, but I can now come back in, even on the reflective light there. I can come back in, build that up with layers. Uh, what is, do we work with? 10% uh, increments of value. A little bit of gradation here. That's how you go about building the, uh, drawing out the nose. <clears throat>